welcome to part 4 of Colonizing Duna. Last episode, we've sent this space station around Kerbin. It's sitting at 150k uh, stable orbit around Kerbin. More or less equatorial. Doesn't really matter because the launcher coming back from Duna will never land perfectly on the equator anyway. So, we have to send the exact same station around Duna. I'll send it on a polar orbit around Duna, but I have to push it there. It'll be a challenge. I already designed the rocket that should be able to push it there. Um, this episode, I'll try and fly it there. I spent easily an hour and a half, two hours just designing the Duna refueling station and the launcher that goes with it. I'm not going to bore you with it. I'll, I'll show you in the VAB if you want to see it. Well, you see it because I'll fly it, but it's no, no point in uh, designing it and recording it. Just take hours. Let's check it out. Are you? So I started with the RS1, 2, and then the final one, 561 parts, sorry. And so here's the monster. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little crazy with the engines, but it's heavy. So that should get me off Kerbin, and hopefully in an orbit around Kerbin, and this should push it towards Duna. If need be, I can still use the fuel from this central uh, orange tank here because I only need four orange tank refuel a taxi. Uh, but I'm hoping I can keep all five. And so here's the, <laughs> that is a monster. I'm hoping I, I can try it to orbit. It, it, it wouldn't wobble too much, but I had to go completely crazy with the struts. Uh, just set up the right flag. Let's see who we can put in there. So that is the station. It's going to be man, and then we got the pusher itself. That might need someone. Let's go with Kirk Herman. Actually, let's not go with them because we won't be able to bring him back. Cameron will have to man both. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Thing is alright. Save it and let's set for Duna. I'm really hoping it'll be enough. Hang on, let me just check the stages here because something might be wrong. Why is it decoupling with this? It shouldn't happen. This decouples that. So let's just do this. Alright. What is this, this? These are these fours. And there's. This keeps burning space over there, and then that will never even have to be used. So let's just stick two parachute on this pod so it is at least looks like it's recoverable. Save and launch. Ooh, it's bugging. Here we are. Hopefully, we can get a decent orbit and still have some fuel in that central stage so we can uh, start pushing it towards Duna. Um, before I even start, let's see where we are. Where Duna is actually. That is not good. Let's keep. Let's accelerate a little bit. We 
We need Duna to be ahead of us. So, we have to time warp for a long time. But better to do it now when we can go full speed than when we're around the uh, curb and it can only time warp four or five times. Is it? <laughs> oh, peacock. Shut up! Uh, uh, it's gonna be a long time before we're aligned. I think he's behind us. Once this is around Duna. I uh, really have to start working on those rovers because they will not be able to land on parachute alone. So I'm going to have to uh, make some sort of, attach somehow an engine on the bottom of them. Uh, maybe with a really small tank, something that can just be used for the last seconds before it touches the ground and just decouple. Just going to, maybe with some radial engines actually. Because they, they all have fuels, uh, fuel tanks to start with. They wouldn't need much. Maybe two of these small uh, radial orange engines would be enough. I can test it out. About be there. Come on, 90 degrees ahead of us. A little more. Keep going. And going. And going. more all right let's stop about about <laughs> about now yeah, let's launch this thing So, let's go. Can't wait to jettison the first stages, so uh, I got my frame rate back. Probably the one of the heaviest thing I tried to send um, to another planet since I haven't tried to send a puller yet or a taxi. Um, especially since the thing that I'm sending is containing fuel that I cannot use. It's like sending dead weight pretty much. Um, if I could use this, these five tanks would be pretty easy. But it's oh shit. It's pretty hard. Especially it's hard if I don't stage in time. Start paying attention. There's another stage coming up. Our solid boosters are about to run out as well. Staging. Solid boosters won't be far behind. Yeah, 
go. Turn it up to compensate. About to start turning. Can't see much. This is night launch, but I can't zoom too close, or else you can't hear me because of the thrust noise, so engine noise. We can do it. It's possible. Almost there. for me. Let's see how I have fuel wise. Alright. Not too bad. Let's finish this. Seventeen seconds. Not too bad. Head <laughs> way worse. Let's get on the node, finish this orbit, then um, you know, let's see how we can get to Duna. Um, I'm gonna have to do a full orbit around Kerber, I think, to uh, get to the right spot before I can start burning for Duna. I don't wanna see. Let's finish this first. It's mm. cheat. <laughs> Sorry, cheating, but some time warp stabilize the, the craft. All right, one minute, 58 seconds, 17 second burn. It's time warp. Not too much.
98, 92. Good enough. We still have some fuel in that. That is cool. Let's switch our nodes around. We want to go for Duna. Where is Duna? Ike. That'd be too early. for it line let's burn next time and make it there Aligned. There we go. Twenty three minutes. Twenty three minutes. Where are we on here? Can go a little faster. Duna, here we come. Oh, crap. The mun. What the fuck are you doing there? Oh, One time I tried to get to the moon and couldn't get an encounter and then I'm just trying to leave the Kerbin system and there we go. Get an encounter with the moon. That is annoying. But since I will miss the note anyway because I'm not aligned anymore, <laughs> it won't matter. Deploy my solar panels as well because my electricity is running low. I'm on the wrong side of the carbon as well. So let's start burning. Three, two. If you just do this real quick. Bam, bam. Let's burn. It's weathering so much. what matters. Oh. That was weird. At least since I have too much fuel, I'll be able to use this to push towards Duna so the nuclear engines won't have to do all the work. That's a good news. Might have enough fuel to make this then. to switch to nuclear at some point. Uh, by the way, I'm using, I'll show you when I'm in uh, the sunlight, I'm using those um, nuclear rocket FDNM uh, series. Um, I don't know if the link is on Curse yet, because I know the spaceport is down now. I have the old link, I might have to find a new link for them, but I'll put it in the description uh, when uh, I upload this. They're pretty cool. I, I went for the biggest one of the four. They have the same weight to thrust ratio and um, ISPs is um, the stock one, so it's like stacking more than just 
one. Man, they ran out of fuel. So, stage it. Let's keep going on those. Yeah, these are the ones. That's the 280. They're pretty heavy, but they lift about 20 tons each. Um, including the weight, so it's... Because it's 28, but they weigh 8 tons. I get to the mun. I mean, it's it's cool, but it'd be nice if I try to set up a refueling station around the mun right now, but it's not what I want to do. And I bet that when I want to do it at a later stage, I won't be able to. But, alright. Just, I want to keep going. Now I'm just going to hit the moon. Great. Not what I want either. You know what? That's great. I'll do a flyby on the moon. If I'm gonna do a flyby on the moon, I'll do a flyby on the moon. And flyby on the moon done. Thank you for flying by the moon. And not caring about it. <laughs> so. Where are we now? Duna is here. Let's burn for Duna. Set a start here. Oh, close. And we got an encounter. Two minute fifty seven seconds. Should be doable in a day. Sweet. Kill. Four hours. Come on. That's not what I want. Awfully wrong here, right? What? This just can't work like this. It's too beautiful.
we should. me and it's time warp so we'll get there because it's gonna be a while probably what 272 days we got time yeah 200 days so the cool part is if we can pull that off and if that station around there then we can actually, next episode, land on Duna. Send our rovers there. And we'll just have to tweak them and stick a launcher under them. And then um, make it finally to the surface. Because right now it's all been prep work. I mean, it's four episodes worth. And it's, this is actually the first mission where we'll make it to Duna. But we don't even get to land there yet. So, a little annoying. I guess I could land with uh, the thing that's pushing the station, but then uh, I will ne definitely never make it back up in orbit. And to be honest, I think it would just have to crash on the surface because it does not have, it's only got two parachutes and uh, the engines would not even lift the weight of the thing. It's be bad. Not to mention, I do not have enough fuel. Since I can't use what's in the station, it's for the puller. I'll have to make some sort of uh, refueling rocket for this. Then it would be more streamlined than those uh, orange tanks just sticking out like that. Another hour. Then we'll be around it. Alright, we're around it. What can we do for science? Oh yeah, I already was here. Um, that sucks. No science at the moment. We have to wait to make it on the ground. Let's maneuver. I want to pull her a bit. At least close to one. position I guess just in case, because I can always just put it back in later. I'm gonna do this. Let's grab this fuel. Let's actually do it from here. Go. 
I always put it back in later, just to make sure I have um, these things filled up. For nothing, rather than uh, mid maneuver having to do it, I still have a day before the the node anyway, so there's time. I need four of these, so I'll just see maybe two I have to put in there. Uh, we'll see. Hoping we can not use all the fuel. I still have to keep the center of gravity uh, right. This won't be enough, so I'll have to take this one. This one's filled up, this one is not. So where are we at? This one is filled up, filled up. Filled up, filled up, filled up. That is empty. And that is filled, so that is not good. We need to somehow equalize this. So. That is filled up. Let us. Um, I will do that. data kill. These four will keep running. The middle one runs out. I'll just have to burn for longer. But at least the center of gravity remains the same, and I'll have my four fuel tanks that I don't have to touch. Um, I'll probably be enough. Three minutes, twenty seconds. Hmm. Not much to do, but wait. to hold it together though but whatever works and two more minutes burn time starts happening anyway.
If it will not be a polar orbit, I can still tweak it once I'm there. Close to one, though. Closer than if I landed straight on the equator. to kill. Come on, Rocket. You can do it. Yeah, here we go. We got our orbit. Now, I'd say 100k is good enough. Don't want it too close to the ground. I don't want it too far away either. So, Man, there's the Ike encounter that I didn't want, not want either. So, I could have had an encounter with the Mun and Hike and just went trip and here we go I'm actually gonna use Ike it'll bring me closer I'll save a little fuel thank you Ike now I have to burn here Burn at the AP, get closer than burn there. Our bit will be just fine. Except I'm not in the right spot. quick. It's relative, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's get closer. Hoping not to get another encounter with Hike. Not that I don't like it, I'll get there later, but not now. And a hundred. It's time warp to get there and do the same the other way. Doing on fuel. Oh yeah, I'm good. So I got half the fuel in those four tanks. The middle one is empty, but I don't need it. I could put fuel in there, but I don't want to. If I can do it without it, I'll do it without it. So here we are. For now. K as well. Please. I have way more fuel than I thought I had. I'd have. I 
just got lucky with the encounter and Hike got me closer as well to Duna originally. At least by a million uh, meters. Pretty cool. So I have to wait a little bit and burn again. Works for me. Staging, let's see. Fuel wise, where are we? That's good. How about our orbit? That is not what we want, so we want a little more. Nope. Alright, something like that. At least as close as possible. If it's not dead on 90 degrees, I won't. I won't cry. It'll be fine. So how long before the no? 27 minutes. Yeah, we got time. Let's get there. Fail me now, engines. Because if you do, I'll end up crashing on Duna, and that is not cool. for me so that is a successful mission wow now you just transfer the remuning, uh, remuning remaining fuel from this back into our central state the station and central city of the station is going to stay there I will keep 
the pusher under it in case I need it for something else. I don't know, just to move the station around. I'd rather have it there than having to send another one because I need it at a later stage. I don't know. It's there, so might as well keep it. So I have four, about four and a half, a little under four and a half orange tanks around Duna. That is sweet. Oh my god. Well, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll be actually landing on Duna, bringing the uh, taxi to the station and then dropping the lander on the surface. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.